All right, I have picked some red berries and some cadaver berries. I'm gonna kill some barbarians. Maybe check out the stronghold of security a little bit, and then head down towards uh, the Falador mines to see if I can't upgrade my pickaxe. Let's keep our coins on us. And travel. An important step for this account is going to be high level alchemy, since it is one of the best ways that we can obtain gold, besides selling things to general stores, which is frustrating and requires a lot of world hops. In order to do that, we're going to need an amulet of magic so that we can get more XP by being more likely to hit on our targets when we cast our spells. This will also save us GP in the form of saving us runes. In order to get an amulet of magic, we're going to need to acquire a cosmic rune, which is a rare drop from hill giants and dark wizards in free-to-play. We are going to need some sapphires and the ability to cut them, which luckily we got some sapphires in the last clip. And finally, we are going to need to get a gold bar. For this, we're either going to need 40 mining and 40 smithing, or to do goblin diplomacy. Without further ado, let's continue. Here we're getting a little bit of magic levels before we get the amulet of magic, just so that we have access to things like enchant sapphire. In addition, I wanted to kill Dark Wizards for the Cosmic Runes, so that I could also get access to the Black Robe Top, which is an uncommon drop from them that provides a magic bonus. However, magic defense is based off of primarily your magic level before your defense, so I thought it was important to get some magic levels to make the grind a little bit easier. Present day herb pudding here, quick, with an unfortunate announcement. Um... So, I ended up doing Goblin Diplomacy to get the gold bar. May or may not have forgot to record it. So the issue was, I thought I was recording it. But in the middle of recording it, I ran out of disk space. So, it just stopped recording and then none of the recording was saved. In addition to that, I was without my desktop for a little bit. So I had to grind for the cosmic runes on a laptop. Basically, uh, you had to go to far the farmer in Falador, pay him for woad leaves, get some onions from Farmer Fred, like near him, give both of those to Aggie and some red berries for yellow, red, and blue dye, mix the yellow and red together to get orange, get the three goblin males I'd been saving up in the bank, dye two of them, one blue, one orange, give them the blue, then the orange, then the brown, and then quest complete and you get your gold bar. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It won't happen again, I promise. I swear. I hope I will make it up to you with the upcoming massive smithing grind that I plan to do to make my own steel armor. <laughs> so, apologies, but, uh... We got the Amulet of Magic! And with this, we will have 30 mining, meaning that we can start to mine coal. There we go! We'll see if I can uh, do all the scorpions attacking me here. If I drop to 10, I'll back off. Come on. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, yeah. Gonna finish up this inventory with copper. Then I'll see you guys when I have the requirements for Knight's Sword. For this inventory, we will have 15 smithing, and then we can start trying to smith some iron bars for the Knight's Sword quest. Let's see how many of these ores we can turn into bars. <laughs> this iron smelting thing isn't really working out too well for me. Hopefully we can get at least 10 bars. Oh, 16 smithing. Maybe it'll be better now. 10 bars. Just 10. 
please. Uh oh. Hey, we got there. That's <laughs> jeez. It's, it's it's not a lot of uh, refined iron there, is it? Making some soft clay for pie dishes because uh, apparently the general stores don't sell them, which is pretty unfortunate. But uh, it's not too bad. Just gotta get these buckets. Go over here. You fill them up with water. You wait a few seconds. And then you get no XP and wait a bit longer in order to get the soft clay. Look at that. That's not too bad. There's not even a sound effect. Jeez. Uh, we'll be back after we have pie dishes so that we can make red berry pie. Just got done tanning a hundred cow hides into leather, and now we're going to see if we can't get... There. There he is. Now we're going to see if we can't get us some crafting equipment. Hopefully, like a needle and thread. Maybe a mold. This is plate skirts. Now, if I was a crafting store... I would probably be the store that says crafting shop. So let's try over there. Maybe they have something. All right. Oh, out of stock. Let's try hopping worlds. Or maybe they just never stock needles. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Just do uh, one of each. Mold here. And get 50 thread. Still a coin each, 50 more. Oh, wow. The other threads are a lot more expensive. That's not too bad. I'm going to go craft up some leather into gloves, vambraces, etc. And we'll be back when I can make a pie. I'll also save you the gathering flour, because that is excruciating. After spending my entire cash stack on fishing supplies, it's time to get to 32 cooking so that we can get pots of flour within the cooking guild. 19 strength. That's a big drop. Something tells me I'm going to be farming here for a while. After I finish Night Sword, of course. I just wanted to stop by and take some out. And we are smithing the sword. There we are, the blue right sword. It is time to go deliver it. There we are, quest complete. 31 smithing. Looks like the success rate hasn't improved that much. To the adamant pickaxe, which will hopefully... Oh, look, it's exactly enough. Will allow us to mine coal a lot quicker. And we begin the silver grind in the Alcarid mine. Total level 300 while making holy symbols. Time to start cutting some gems. <laughs> With all of our crazy symbol and leather body money, we're going to get a staff of fire and a staff of air. There we are. Feels good. Let's go train us some magic. It's time to start the cosmic rune and prayer grind. As mentioned before, I was stuck with a laptop for a bit, but I took advantage of this time in order to grind out the black robe top and the cosmic runes. In the next picture, you can see that I smelted and strung the sapphire amulet and then enchanted it. Back to the good old days of mining Rune Essence. Now that's quality content. Alright, and this will be our final inventory of runes. Ending us on 16 rune crafting, and with quite a hefty amount of runes with which to train magic. Our last stop will be the Wizard's Tower. And after many, many days of gathering beads, there we go.
We have completed Imp Catcher. I got the fourth bead on the way back by punching an imp from that trip. And look at that. Amulet of Accuracy. And our first teleport spell. Now we don't need to get 70 crafting for an Amulet of Power. It's really not a bad amulet. 4, 4, 4, 4, and 4. A little unlucky, but not bad. Let's go to Lumbridge to find Hans and see how uh, old the account is and how long it took me to get those four beads. There he is. I wonder what the amount of accuracy is like, made out of. 22 hours and 27 minutes. That's not bad. Under a day. That's not bad at all. 22 hours? Those are decent stats. Especially the runecrafting. Gonna do a quick bank check, and this will be the wrap up. Bank's worth a solid 106k. And why don't we pull out some of our best gear? So, boots, fan braces, wizard hat, staff of fire. And we will be using Earth Strike instead of Fire Strike. Because Earth Strike only takes one air rune, and Fire Strike takes two air runes. But yeah, so here we are. With our melee gear. Got a slash bonus of 25, and a melee strength of 20. And now in our magic gear, we have a magic bonus of 16. And a uh, magic damage bonus of zero because we are free to play which will be fixed soon as we are making our way through these quests uh corsair curse is gonna be pretty exciting because the ogres can drop rune armor meaning that we might have full rune because i'm definitely definitely not uh getting to what is it 99 smithing yeah i'm not getting a 99 smithing on free to play so <laughs> we're, we're gonna get full rune the combat way um, but yeah, here are the stats, here's the gear, and I'm going to do some AFK hill giant training while editing. Instead of having to run an entire inventory of rune essence to an error mind alter, or spend 100 to 200 GP for 20 to 30 runes, what you can do is you can just drop all your mind and error runes, Claim 30 and 30 from the Magic Tutor and pick them back up, and you can do that every half hour. And with that, I will begin the long journey back to Varrock, and those hill giants will know the wrath of Earthstrike. And I wish you adieu. Have a good one, and thanks for watching.